Today, I'm excited to give y'all a tour of my drive right. Alright, that was good. I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. Okay. First, I would like to explain the paint scheme in here. I live in right outside Chattanooga, Tennessee, in North Georgia. I'm not a Georgia Bulldogs fan. Let me explain. 20 years ago, I bought these Saren Vegas speakers. I love them. So then, I bought this house that was under distress, it was foreclosed, and the ceiling in here was real wavy, and I, the only way I could figure out a way to fix it, the cheapest way, was to build these boxes in here, and I thought it looked pretty cool, painted it black. So then I got all the surround sound speakers, got this big subwoofer back here that my cat loves to get on top of. Got these surround sounds, got these surround sounds. The red stripe in here is what gave me the idea to paint the red on top of the face molding. I think it looks pretty cool. So I had all this paint left over and that's where the paint scheme in the drone room came from. We're gonna start over here and then we're gonna work our way around. What's up? Today, toolbox, solder iron, rat, quads, magnetic thingies, another quad, controllers. Tour over, get out. All right, this, this is my little DeWalt collection. This is just the clean ones, all the dirty ones is out there in the, the truck. Um, this is just your standard mechanics toolbox. It's sort of organized. It's not really a snap-on because I took the Husky tag off and put snap-on stickers on it. <laughs> Every laboratory needs to have a laboratory rat. He's in there, trust me. Uh, dwarf hamster, I believe. Dwarf mamba. Helping hands, moving away. This is a little vice that I like to use sometimes for, it's like a suction cup. Don't work that great. Okay, this is a soldering iron that I like to use. Let me tell you guys, this is a great soldering iron. It's the Hakko FX95 uh, 951. Think about this. Did I turn it on? What happened to it? It just died. Did it really? It literally just died. Hey, what? Should I laugh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's funny. Yeah. It's funny because I got that on video. It's hilarious. <laughs> did it just die? It literally just died. Like, did it just die? Like, it died? Like, the thing died? Oh. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> A little technical difficulties there on the soldering iron. What I was going to show you guys, let's move down here. Uh, somewhere in here. Okay. The tips for this soldering iron is awesome. Very easy to replace. Super tiny. Love these. Hands down, best soldering iron for doing these quads, I believe. This is just kind of miscellaneous junk in there. We won't get in there. These cabinets are just, stuff's just kind of thrown in there. This is the, the Weehob screwdriver collection. I just built this little shelf and drilled holes in there. I love this because if, if one of these holes doesn't have a screwdriver in it, I know that one's missing. Moving on. These little magnet things are great. These are like the little magnets you can screw them on to things. Put your tools on there, great. Love those. This power strip down here, got it mounted to the wall. Love that because there's plugs all the way down through there. Got it over here. Got one over there, we'll get to that other one in a minute. Screwed, screwed over collection, we've been over that. This is some things that I've 3D printed. This is when people need to wake up. <laughs> First, I want to admit that this is probably the cleanest this place has been since I built it. It was a mess. I spent all week cleaning it up. All right. So this is the chameleon I've got in for repair right now. I've got to replace the broken SMA on it. And I'm going to put some motors that I got from Ryan over at uh, Mini Quad Test Bench, Quad McFly. I'll link his shouts. 
I'll link his channel and his web, maybe his website. I don't know. I don't know how to do them. I'm horrible at linking and hashtagging. You just go to his. You just go to his website and then copy and paste the link. Give me that. Harrison's videoing for me today. He's doing such a great job. He's helping me out here. Harrison will be linked down there somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna link some of this stuff down in the description. I got an Amazon affiliate account. If you want to figure out how to get some of this crap. This was my first soldering iron that I ever got. That was a good one. I do have a bunch of the junk ones, but uh, you know, it's it worked. It did. It served its purpose. Then I got the Hacko. It's really good. Let me tell y'all about these right here. This cleans grass stains off the quads. This is the best thing that I've found. I used to use alcohol, but these uh, bleach wipes work really good. These pans right here work great for putting your parts in, keeping them when you're working on something. How many of y'all got a bunch of these and don't know what to do with them? 3D printed Stormtrooper pen cup. Okay, this is my sticker bomb cabinet. It's got the stuff in it that my 3D printing filament and some of my chemicals I keep in here. Uh, I've got enough stickers to completely cover the thing, but I'm trying to keep from putting a lot of duplicates on there. Yeah, that's my big old pile of stickers I got. Okay, this is the graveyard of Brother Hobby Motors. This is the Lumineer 3D printer. Uh, this is the 3D printer that I use. It's the printer bought Simple Metal. I've had this thing for about three years. I have printed and printed and printed with this thing. And I think the board has gone bad. I got to get a board for it. That's okay. This is my Windows computer that I use. It's the uh, it's an Asus G73, I think. I don't know. It's really old, but it works fine. I just got it hooked up to an external monitor. Uh, this is how I charge my 18650 batteries for my goggles and my vaporizer. Let's move up here. This is Harrison's chameleon that he flies. This is one of my chameleons. This is my 4-inch floss. This is my 5-inch floss that has some top secret stuff going on. Be rad. You can just censor it. Just put censored. Be rad. I'm coming for you. All right. This is my 6-inch hyperlight. This is a beast. It needs a little bit of repair, but it's okay. The torrent, blade torrent. Uh, that's a hex that has got GPS on it, but I want to try to do some something with that in the future. Uh, this is my three inch. I've got all the electronics mounted on the bottom for that low center of gravity. This is a, uh, let me think, let me think, um, air blade of salt that, you know, is normally built like this, the bottom mount underslung battery. So I sawed the sand standoffs off and made a super low CG. This thing flies amazing for a little three inch. This is the first quad that I ever got that I put FPV on. It's a uh, QX200 from Horizon Hobby, but I bought this Raycon frame, put it on there, and then I bought the little FPV kit and it had like a little tiny whoop camera on it. And this is the first drone that I ever flew FPV. And that's when I got these uh, my first pair of fat sharks that I was flying with. They come with that little kit. Come up here. Where's it at? Oh, it's actually in that box. So I made the Rewind 1000 out of the box that the little Horizon Hobby kit that you can buy that comes with these and it comes with a camera and all that stuff for like $200, I think. It was something like that. This is the little section of failed indoor two-inch quads. I got the... Um, what do they call it? The Owl. Flex RC Owl. The uh, Armatin, Armatin Bumper Quad. None of them would work. They're all too heavy. This is my fail safe section. All the Spectrum. Cons okay, so let me explain why I have so many controllers. Okay, I, this is the first nice controller that I got. And then me and Harrison was flying uh, RC planes with this. And I wanted him to be able to fly with me. We was taking turns. So then I got him this one. So we flew that for a while. Uh, I started out with this and then I bought myself a Tyrannus. This one, I just got this in a trade. I haven't even used it. I don't even know if it's got batteries in it. It don't even have batteries in it. This radio link is what flies this. This is my spare Tyrannus. This is a controller that I tried to make a uh, ride along monitor out of. It mounted up on the top and I took the guts out of it, put the monitor on it, put a battery in it. But then I got this one. So this one works so much better. This is my Tyrannus here that I use. This is Harrison's. We've got the kickstand on both of them. 
I'm gonna do a video pretty soon of doing a sticker kit on like how to pimp your Tyrant. It's pretty cheap because I think this thing was like 20 bucks on eBay. Pretty cheap. Makes it look pretty cool. That's all it is is the sticker kit. Goggles. This is Harrison's. Nope, actually these are mine. I got the same sticker kit from eBay to match mine. May get Harrison some here pretty soon. This is Harrison's Dominators. He uses the Furious. I use the LaForge. Got the internal wires done on that one. Bought Harrison some Sky Zones a while back. They're horrible. The video was good. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like a wide angle. The video was good, but the the reception, he couldn't fly, but maybe 30 yards away and would lose video. I was having a lot of trouble. I was going to just put in a Furious, try to wire Furious up on that, but we ended up doing something different. This is where I store all the batteries that have went bad. I know this is so I'm going to get some hate comments on how I store my batteries. But all these batteries ain't no good. I got four brand new China Hobby lines waiting in line. And I got some 6S R lines back there. This is where I do my charging setup. Yeah, this is where I like to do my battery charging. This charger is an awesome charger for indoor. It just doesn't have, it's AC only. It doesn't have a DC input. Um, and these, these are the first chargers that I've, first got before i knew about parallel charging i bought two so i could charge two batteries at once but i didn't know about parallel charging at the time this is my tiny whoop charger this is batteries for various other things rc cars the helicopters hoverboard hoverboard battery anyone who is a chameleon pilot needs to have a vice and a hammer to straighten these things out with i straighten mine out all the time look at that thing I don't, it. I, don't believe, I don't believe this one can be salvaged, but we'll try. We'll do a little how-to right quick. You always got to move it right at the bend. Yeah. Eh. Close. I want y'all to hear this. That metal is still hard. I got hate comments saying I was softening in the metal. But that's still pretty hard if you ask me. So this is the unfinished section over here. I hadn't really got this section done the way I want it. I do have these, you know, some power tools down here. Drill press, belt sander, scroll saw. I just grab them, put them on the workbench if I want to use them. When I get done, put it back down there. The vice is not attached. Got a nice little selection of props in here. There's a whole bunch more in the car. This is a... My used prop decoration that I don't know that I come up with. It's oh. slinky, slinky. Another one is a toy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Not in my old doll. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah. What's the square root of 87? Uh, you don't know? You don't know? Oh, uh, wow. Well, <laughs> This is my little camera section over here. This is Harrison's vlogging camera that he uses. We also use this one sometimes. Got the Mavic. GoPros. DJI Mobile. Uh, Osmo Mobile. Phantom 3. Use that sometimes. Got the T-Rex 500L up here. That I don't even know what that other one is, but it's broke. But it's being up at the top where the propeller hooks up to it. Got the TV. So I can watch the Netflix while I'm editing videos. I do my editing on a MacBook Pro 2016. Got the touch bar. Uh, LG monitor. I don't know what size it is. Works out pretty good. I ha I'm not even going to try to pronounce these speakers. But they're nice. I got them Bluetooth to the, to the computer. Bug assault. Gotta have a bug assault for the bugs. <laughs> bug assault. Oh yeah, I got the sub under there. So that wraps up the tour of the drone room. Thanks for joining me. But one more thing. Y'all may be wondering why I have a car charger in my room here. Well, let me explain. This is the box that I like to take to the field. I'm going to be doing a, a video when I get it done. It's not complete. But I have a car battery in here. I'm going to do all my charging in the field. Right now I just hook alligator clips. But I'm going to hook it all up. Make it nice and neat. So that'll be a video for the future. When I get this done, 
we'll do a little how-to on that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Peace, I'm out. Yeah.